Good evening to you, Pumpkin. Let's talk about a narrative we all should learn a lesson from. Matic. Polygon Matic. Polygon Matic is revered in the crypto industry. Everybody loves it. Why does everyone love it? Well, if you quickly have a glance here, you can see a giant up arrow performed by me, which shows you that it went up. Of course. Of course. You know, you don't even need me to tell you. I'm going to give you the secret. If you ever see a lot of people like something, just automatically conclude to yourself, okay, its price went up and it pumped somewhere. That's it. It just needed to pump once. And people can become fanatical. Okay? So, Matic, right? So, let's go through this together. Matic was one of my prophecies that completed. Okay? I bought Matic in 2020. Now, I didn't know it was going to do this. I just had the targets up there and went went 16x on Bitcoin, right? So, an enormous. And look, Matic raised 450 million in cash, okay? So, they didn't want to sell the tokens. They just, you know, did some sort of raise. And they were burning $200 million a year, man. Now, this is a bit fuddy because they cut workers and they cut their expenses, right? So... They recently said they've got about 250 million left <clears throat> and they've got rid of some employees. So, you know, it's meant to be 18 months of runway, but, you know, let's just give them the benefit of the doubt four to five years of runway before they've got to sell any Matic tokens. So, Matic, 80 to 85% of the coins are owned by about eight Indian dudes, okay? And a lot of people get angry when you mention that. And I was wondering, like, why do you get so angry? And I realized, Oh, I know why. It's because Matic is tied to the hip with Ethereum, who are meant to be all about decentralization, right? So once you start putting these facts in people's minds, if they get upset, you got to dig deeper. You go, why are you upset? And you realize, all right, maybe if Matic was anyone else out there, but they didn't love Ethereum so much, I wonder how they would be treated, you know? So we're going to learn a le cute lesson from this story, all right? Look at this. Often you'll see Ethereum maxes defend Polygon Matic. It's because Polygon, so Polygon and Matic, they're just renamed, right? Often Polygon put a lot of Ethereum people on the payroll. It's true. It's true. And they will reiterate that they are Ethereum friendly. Even though... They've got their own Matic token. So what do I mean by this? So, you know, look, friends, there can only be one path where the economic energy gets inserted, all right? You can't go buy 100 coins. You only go to one place. One place, okay? It's a competition. Everybody is fighting for attention and US dollars. They are, you know? Now, in crypto, we understand that. Stock market boomers, they didn't get it yet, right? You know, stock market boomers, they actually think, they go, oh, well, you know, I'm a utility company and you're a technology company, so we don't compete. Yeah, you do. You are competing as a ticker symbol on the computer screen, okay? You don't own the company. It's just an imaginary voting right to the company. And you are competing for people's money to enter your asset and push it up in price. Now, we understand this game, but many people don't. That's why we are ahead of the stock market boomers, okay? And they've got they've got something coming when they finally realize this switch, okay? So look at this. With Matic, if you buy Matic, that is money that does not go into Ethereum. So you don't push the Ethereum price up. But why haven't they complained about it yet? The answer is because Ethereum has been strong. Ethereum has been strong, friends. Now, by the time you see this video, months have passed, it doesn't really matter. Ethereum has been doing this chart, friends. Ethereum had one cycle and now two cycles. We are still fresh, okay? We are still strong if you're in Ethereum camp. My prophecy is that the third cycle is going to let everyone down somewhere. I know, people don't like this. They think this is like, whoa, can't believe you're saying it. Yeah, that's right, I'm saying it. I'm going to tell it to your face. I think the third cycle is going to be a curse. I think Ethereum is going to betray us somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know how. Just somewhere, you know. One example is maybe it goes to 8,000, 9,000, comes back down. 
right? Because everybody's going to be holding for that 10,000 round number, right? Okay. Another trap potentially is on the ETH BTC. Maybe, like, I know this sounds crazy, man, but maybe it literally goes right under the flippening and no one gets out and then it comes back down. And then we have to we wait another two years, you know? Isn't that cruel if that happens? But hey, man, this is what happens. This is what happens in our game, friends. I don't like this. Do you think I was happy when I saw Bitcoin stop at 60K and us get completely scammed? We couldn't even get to 100. Do you think I was happy? It broke my heart. It broke my heart because I wasn't a moon boy up here. I was bullish at the lows. I made my targets. Okay. So we're going to stay grounded with reality here. Okay. So look at this. When money is coming in to your coin in your crypto project, you can afford to make mistakes because the price is going up. Everybody is happy. Okay. There is nothing to cry about. So so we've got to be aware of these decisions. So Polygon Matic, you know, they have put in some sponsorship money. Look at this. Compare this to Pulse Chain, for example, right? $500 million of a stablecoin treasury unspent. All right. Maybe it's spent by the time this video is out, right? Who knows? But Polygon, they've been burning through it. All right, look at this. Polygon acquires some sort of lab here to further Ethereum adoption. Polygon acquires ZK Proof Startup. For 400 million look there's just a lot of money man i don't even know if that is that number real 400 million is a lot of money my god right and look at this right you dive deep into matic polygon and you get to really see what's going on so but first right i want you to see the chart of truth this is the only chart you actually need to look at all right we're gonna have a look at matic eth matic eth <clears throat> you always want to see how the coin is doing on its ETH ratio. And I've just quickly changed it to the actual full Matic ETH from Uniswap. So look at this, you put on a regular chart. How crazy is that, right? So you're probably, you're probably confused. You're like, how can you be bearish on a chart like this? Isn't this what you wanna see? We'll just hold your horses, okay? It's not about being bullish and bearish and like, oh, I like you, I don't like you. It's just, are you cheap or are you expensive? All right, look when I was buying this thing. It's buying this thing down here, bang, here's your 30X, all right? Actually, I got out for like an average of 16X. So that's cheap. Look, you're dead down here, right? You're dead. Up here, where is the value to buy? Okay, so if you're holding, you gotta think, would you buy up here? Would you buy up here? You are literally right where the top is. Now, Matic done great in the bear market for crypto, but this is where my buy zone was, right? And I wanted, if I wanted to rebuy, minus 80% here or down lower. That's right. Because in crypto, man, you can't take these 60%, 50%. Like, even if you did buy this low here, how much are you up here? You're up like a double, all right? Look how much risk you took. Imagine you bought this dip here, right? Imagine you bought that dip there and it didn't work. Like for, you know, for about, you get, you get any 50 coins, 49 didn't work. So this is what you're risking. You're risking an 85% drop for just a double, all right? So you're basically, you're risking one for plus one. Terrible, absolutely terrible. So people look at this and they go, wow, I've got to pay attention to this. This chart is going up and it's pointing up to the moon. But where's your target, man? Where's your exit, you know? Look, I hope Matic does this because... Man, the, the higher this thing keeps pumping, that really lets us know that the market is hungry for these layer ones, <laughs> non-Ethereum stuff, okay? But what's actually in Matic? Let's have a look. Look at this. So I think Pulse Chain can overtake Matic, but you don't even need Pulse Chain to be on the agenda for us to analyze through this. Look, Matic is one of my winning prophecies. They're firing 20% of staff, but the top two NFTs on OpenSea, they're scams, okay? The top gas burner, it's an MLM themed after the Avatar movie. So just look at this. Like there's, just, there's no like innovation. It's just, it's a faster Ethereum. It's just low transaction speed. So it's low transaction cost and that's it. There's no juice here. There's no edge. If I go and abuse Matic on Twitter, no one comes after me. I don't like that. I want to fear for my life, man. 
You know my fluffy socks? I want to have fear that one day someone's going to take them off me. I want that fear. Because if I'm in a coin and I've got that fear, I'm going to hold it. I'm like, that's pretty good, man. I like that feeling. Contrary to what you think, right? What do most people say? They go, oh, this, these people are too cultish and religious. Nope, that's what you want. Okay, Matic ain't no religion. All right, The only religion it's got is from that price go up, which is very, very important. But do you want to hold that into the next bull market? You've got to think about these stories, man. Look at this. Matic often criticized for being a fake Ethereum layer 2 because it has its own token and it enriched founders plus Ethereum maxis who got paid to shill and promote it, which is true. So most of its on-chain activity is wash trading, scams, MLMs, and they blew 50 million on Starbucks sponsorship. So, you know, I had a, a friendly person commented and says, man, that Starbucks sponsorship, some people got like a free $2,000. Like it was really good. Yeah, but let me tell you something, man. You're only saying that because this thing happened, all right? The price went up, all right? How are you going to be talking if, let's say Matic actually, let's say it actually goes up. And then let's say that's the end. And for some reason, it just drops 85%, right? What, what happens there? You're going to be talking about, oh, wow, that's such a great idea to go blow this NFT stuff. I know how people act. And you do too. When the price is going up, we say everything they did was good. And when the price is going down, we say everything they did was bad. That's how it is. So it's up to me and you. We have to decide what filter we're going to use to assess whether these things are good buys, holds, or whatever. Now, I already made my money, man. It's sweet, woohoo! And I rotate it out. But many people are believing in it, right? Let's continue. Polygon Matic doesn't have hundreds of thousands of users that they claim. So they do, they've got like daily active users. They say it's like hundreds of thousands. We're so, uh, we're so adopted, right? And most of it is actually just wash trading, fake metrics. The top 10, top 10 NFTs are all phishing scams, <laughs> right? And I even mentioned he meant if Pol if Matic does a 5x on here and then Pulse Chain flips it in market cap, well, we've got 100x from day one sack. I like that. I really do. Because look, there's no competition. So you probably think a lot of people a lot of people say to me, oh my God, Matic's so high T. No, it's not. No, it's not. They just marketed and paid off the right people. And that's it. There's nothing bad with that. Like look, a lot of people, they get upset. Hey man, the price went up. It doesn't matter. I don't care who you paid off. I don't care what they did. The price went up. That's good. Double thumbs up. But what if the price goes down? You just got to think about that. And how long are you willing to ride this gravy train for? Okay. So it's not about is a project good, bad, or whatever. It's just do you have other opportunities out there, right? Look at this. I mean, like, even if this thing is plus 50% higher, you got to be thinking like, whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe, maybe I should be getting out a bit. Maybe, right? Because you want to rotate your capital and think, okay, are there other things that might make me more than 50% on my Ethereum? Can I get 400%? Can I get 1,000%, which is 10x, 9x, 10x, right? That's how you have to be thinking. You can't just be thinking this is good or this is bad or whatever. Now, the ultimate goal is to be, I'm going to get a little surfer man emoji, Actually, let's make it a girl. All right. The ultimate goal is for there to be a wave and you're convicted on this way up because you're not sucked out from the dips. You say, hey, I have this target and it's X. And it's price target is up here. And there will be a price target emoji up here. Here we go. This is actually the best place to be because years are going to pass. And the only thing that mattered was that you bought and that you sold. Everything else in between meant nothing. Okay. But... You have to be confident that what you're holding is going to get there, especially versus Ethereum on its ratio. Like now you're talking something super difficult, right? Because Ethereum's gaining on Bitcoin. So now you just really got to think about how you're going to filter projects going forward. Not everything is clear. It's not written in stone that, you know, these projects are A plus and everything's great because all these chains, there's nothing on them, friends. There's nothing. There's just a lot of experiments, okay? We've all got the Uniswap decks. We've all got the Maker, the Stablecoin, right? Everyone's got those bare bones stuff. But the real cool stuff that's coming, it hasn't been invented yet, okay? 
we need developers. They're going to start creating and mixing and matching data that's going to come from Chainlink oracles, and they're going to be really complex, and some people are going to put some cool stuff together. Okay, We haven't even started that world yet. So don't be married to any of these changes. just too many. We like Pulse Chain. Why? We got in on the ground. That's cool. You can do whatever you want, man. We are like those Bitcoin maxis who bought in at 100 bucks, and like... They don't care if Bitcoin stopped at 50K, goes back down to 20K. If They don't even care if Bitcoin only goes to $80,000 because they bought it at 100, right? So we're going to be them. We will literally be them. That's the beautiful part about having opportunity, right? It's not a right or wrong. This is just a human human nature behavior, all right? So Matic, double thumbs up, man. It pumped. We rode the wave. It rode the wave. But from here, this is your point. Like if you're still holding it, you got to think, okay? Where would you want to get out? <clears throat> and where would you think it's too high? Now, many people are going to say, I don't think it's high at any price. And you're playing a dangerous game there because you really got to think to yourself, how many coins out there do not drop 90% from that top against Bitcoin or Ethereum? All right, How many are there? Some of them had to have some real fake volume coming in to do that. So, you know, maybe Matic is the chosen one. But look... Why I even mentioned Ethereum was, it's my prophecy. I think one day, I think Ethereum's gonna slow down. And I know a lot of people don't wanna hear it. And I think on the way down here, somewhere, I think there's gonna be some blood. I think the fangs are gonna come out, right? I think, is there a fang? There's no fang emoji. Let's use a little bat. I think people are gonna come and they're gonna start talking. They're going to start saying, hey, man, F these Matic guys, you know? F this guy, F that guy. They're going to start saying that because at the end of the day, friends, look, you have you have money and you have to put it somewhere. You can't put it everywhere. It's a competition. Do you choose ETH or do you choose Matic? Okay, it's a competition. The only reason why this is not a problem right now is because the price has gone up for two juicy cycles in a row. The price has run up. So if, if we get that tilted, right? If we get that tilted, that slanted third cycle, you're going to watch the fangs come out. And hopefully we have nothing to do with it because we could see it coming a mile away. Until next time, friends.